Hi guys, how are you? Come sit down, hang out with us for a little bit. Why don't you and I talk about shopping? Yes, please. Your favorite topic of all time. Oh God, I love shopping so You much. love shopping. It is my hobby. Um, yeah. so I, why I, do you think that is? Well, you, you are more of a shopper than I am, right? So, so we both love it, but there's a, you like the behavior of shopping, the actual doing it. Yeah, but you might go to therapy, right? Yeah. I don't. So, okay, fair. And so I use shopping as my therapy, right? I walk around. If I feel a little blue, if I'm not feeling too great, like I just want to walk into a mall or open up the computer and go online and buy something. Or now, now be able to scan everything in real time to be able to access and shop with IR code. Which was the most exciting part for me when joining this company, because I can't tell you how many years I have searched for things that the Real Housewives have been wearing with like with no avail, like right. hours and hours and hours. Jen, you know what I'm talking about, girl. You know, you know that it is it's a real thing. And I don't know if anybody else has had this problem, but it's a constant problem I run into, and now, soon, with IR code, you're going to be able to, like, take your phone, point it at the TV, and anything that is on that screen can come up and give you back information. Right. So what we're really doing is being able to give you what you want in real time, right? So if you're watching something and you love that outfit or you are really interested in finding out like that person's style, you can now really easily access that all while it's top of mind, right? So I think the interesting thing when we look at interactivity and shopping and commerce is that you have about a 60% drop off from when someone wants something to when they actually buy it. If you can't access that shopper, like your profile is exactly what brands and shows and everyone wants, right? We want you to be able to have that interactivity. What we're now being able to provide is we're able to eliminate that drop off. Because right now with IR code, if you program it, you can now shop in real time. <laughs> Which is great if, if I'm opening the app and I see something that I like, I want it to go to exactly the, the buy now page because if my phone rings or I get a text message or I get distracted by work, then the chances of me actually buying that, like you said, drop off. So that's very exciting for me. Yeah, and I think that that's what we're seeing when we're talking about visual search, right? Like, and visual search has been probably the closest people have gotten to. And when we've had conversations with consumers, they're like, oh, like a Google Lens. And we're like, no, it's actually not, right? Because what Google Lens and visual search does is it pulls up anything that could potentially be matched. So yes, their technology has gotten a lot better and you're probably gonna get served something that you're looking for, but you're also gonna get served every other competitor's alternative to it. So for a brand, that actually makes it really hard for me because yeah, maybe they were interested in shopping that exact look when they saw it, but now they're being served all of my competitors' looks too. You see what's playing in the background? So we're, what we're watching White right Lotus. now is White Lotus, right? Yeah. I don't know who anybody has seen this episode. I have. And I saw that bathing suit. Oh, Jen has too. Yay, Jen. I've seen this bathing suit. Great bathing suit. Brittany, can I buy it? You can buy it. So I take the app, I point it up, I, it's there, I can buy it. Yep, so you can buy it in real time, the umbrella, the bathing suit, but here's the thing too, this is where Michelle and I are different. Michelle is the shopper, I am not the shopper. I like to watch entertainment because I like to learn about the show. I'm one of those people who if I'm watching a show, I go to Wikipedia and find out everything that I need to know about it, right? So you and I are different the way that we experience TV. You might see something and want to snap it because you want to look at that. I might actually want to look at this because I want the history of where we got to with White Lotus. I want the destination. I want to learn about the hotel. I want to learn the backstories. I want the talent interviews. I want the director tell-all for that episode, right? So now both of us can have access to the content that we want using IR code. That's the key differentiator between what's currently available with interactivity. You're usually only reaching one audience member. You're not reaching both of us at the same time. So 
Then tell me the use case, or tell me all about our uh, the Live Plus. Like, what is the Live Sports? Yeah, so Live Plus is our live recognition broadcast tool. So most people, uh, when you're playing in this space, if you think about shoppable TV or you think about e-commerce or anything in that space, it has to be pre-programmed, it has to be pre-planned, and or it's based off of a search database, as we talked about, and that search database actually doesn't ever bring up things in real time, right? And you see it on screen and it's kind of gone. With our live tool, what we've actually been able to knock and figure out is how to do live recognition in real time and real broadcast. We're the first tool ever that you can actually program live in real time. We just did the Super Bowl, which was really exciting. We had over 74,000 IR codes programmed in the five hours of Super Bowl. We programmed every single commercial and we had 64,000 scans actually activated in real time. That's great. Yeah. So soon I could probably watch a basketball game and then get all the information of all the sneakers that, wow. Yeah, so it's used for everything across the board, right? We can do it for finding the stats, but it's also around the business of sports. Think about how many people touch sports as a category for an advertiser. You have a commercial that plays before uh, the gameplay, right? And then you lose your audience because your advertisement shows and then they switch to sports mode and I'm watching the game and I'm playing and there's no other touch points now. But now you could actually create little Easter eggs within a live broadcast or within a game to keep that advertisement conversation going and connect to that consumer in real time. Wow, so if I was sitting on the couch and I took out my phone and I pointed the phone to the television, it doesn't matter if it's a show or a commercial. Nope. All doesn't, of it is activated. All of it can be activated. Yep. And it can all bring me back information. Yeah. And what the best part is, is, you know, we, Rappi, our colleague was up here earlier, and he made a really interesting point. Our technology is a technology. What it is, though, is it gives you so much options for a brand to carry the experience. It's unlimited with what you can create. You want to take people through a gamification or rewards program, great. You want to drop a deal in the middle of uh, the fourth quarter, two minutes left in the basketball game, right, where everyone has an attention and you launch this really cool Easter egg to win something special in those last two minutes, great. Or if you want to just create experiences where more people find out about you or you're bringing people into your community and your family, that's an option as well. Cool.